Here's a fun little earring project. I'm just calling it a dilly dangle <laughs> because it's a bit like a mobile really earring and you can use up any beads you've got to hand. Um, you, you can match them with the outfits that uh, you like to wear. So um, it's very simple and I'm only using 0 0.8 wire. I'm going to be choosing some sort of more purplish glass beads that I have found in my stash. So just pick your colour combination, your the palette that you want to use, and take your wire that's 0 0.8 of a millimetre or 20 gauge, and you want to cut two pieces obviously. I'm using about three and a half inches there as you can see for each uh, earring. So it really depends on the size of the bead you're using as your centre bead um, and the size of the earring you want to make. So um, yeah, cut about three and a half to four inches. So two of those lengths. And then you're going to find the centre of those lengths or the approximate centre. Place your round nose pliers there and cross the wires over at that center point. Whoops, <laughs> that's that's a live wire. So cross them over to create a central um, link. So you can see if you have the, that um, your pliers right in the center, you'll make a little loop right in the center of the length. So do that on the other wire as well. So obviously work in tandem so that you can get them, uh, you know, do the repetition for each of these. Now I'm just pulling and twisting the wire with my flat nose pliers on each side of this loop while I hold it in place. And what this does, it straightens those wires, but it also work hardens them a bit, um, which is what you want for an earring frame. So do that to both of them. You can see how that sort of like uh, changes the structure of the wire by pulling and twisting at the same time. It doesn't change the shape, but it changes the structure so that it's, it's tougher and it becomes half hard wire instead of soft wire because it's been manipulated. So once you've done that to both, then you're going to make the structure frameworks. Now, before you do that, just find the shortest end and cut the other sides to match that because one side might be a little bit shorter. So once you find the shortest uh, uh, part, just measure the two up so that they're all the same. So it's just a matter of making sure that after you've, you know, done the central loop and you straightened it all up, they are the same length on each side because they're symmetrical style earrings. Now find something you can use as any cylindrical object. It could be, you know, a lipstick, it could be a, I don't know, a, a glue, um, you know, like a, a little glue stick or something like that. Anything that you can wrap around. I've got this wooden uh, mandrel for doming. So just anything you can make a circular shape around. If you've got a ring triblet or ring mandrel, you can use that. It, you, it could be anything. So place the central circle sticking up. It's got to be st set, it, set up on the outside, not on the inside. And there you can see you've got these sort of horseshoe shapes to create the frames. And now we just want to work hard and a little bit and flatten with your hammer. So take your hammer, your planishing hammer, and work hard and just, just the edges. Don't go right to the ends because you're still going to make links on each end. Um, and only the top of that link. So don't hammer the crossed over area because if you do, you'll weaken it. So just the rounded um, parts of that framework. And then you're going to make links on the ends. So I'm just going to trim this one down slightly. And if I pick that up with my round nose pliers and curl it around to create a link on one side, 
So there's one, and then do the same on the other. So there's my second one. And you can always trim these down if they don't look, but that's they're, they're just sitting um, at right angles to the top link at the top of the frame. So you want to do that to both. And then you're going to get your central stone. Just check that your focal bead or your central stone sits nicely within that frame. And then create a link on each side. So that's just using your round nose pliers forming a link around the pliers. There's one link on one side. Cut it off from the wire and leaving enough to make a link on the opposite end. So this is just so this can hang in the center. And then if you've chosen little beads to put you know on each side and then at the end you're going to do the same thing although the end of this last dangle bead is going to really just have a head pin. So make a hook first, not a complete loop. Pick that hook up with your flat nose pliers and try and squish and squeeze it to flatten it. And that will stop the bead from sliding off. So that's your head pin. Then cut it off the spool, leaving enough to make another link, which uh, can then be connected to the end of your dangle bead. So we can link that in now. Just close that up. So there's the center piece. And then for each side, I mean, you could just make little spirals out of wire, but I've chosen these little smaller beads for the outer edges and I think I'm going to make, instead of making a head pin again, I'm going to make a little spiral head pin. So that's a little hook. Squidge that just like you do a head pin so that it's close together. And then spiral the wire around that to create a small, tight little spiral. It just adds a little bit more metallic silver to the earring and creates another little decorative um, uh, piece to your jewellery. And then at the opposite end, I want to make links that will link on to the, uh, the ends of that sort of arch. So you want to do that to the other one. And then you can decide whether to put a bead at the top before you put your fish hook ear wire on or go straight to the fish hook. I think for me I'll just go straight to the fish hook. So I'm just finishing off. I didn't want you to have to watch the whole <laughs> the whole length of me putting, you know, connecting everything on. So this is now I show you I just added a jump ring between the top focal bead which links in to that arch. You just need one more link in there. You don't want to connect your bead directly in there. And you just hold it flat on your bead mat and then pick it up and close it. It's a little bit fiddly, but you do need that extra jump ring in there. And then it's just a question of getting either a ready-made um, fish hook like this or creating your own. I've done a whole uh, tutorial on making your own um, links and then don't forget you make sure that the way that the thing is made where you've got your little dangle beads on each side they go to the back so when you're hooking your fish hook ear wire on those little uh, loops will be at the back so there you have it it's as simple as that and you can do this with any beads you've got to hand any color palette just make them your own so I hope you enjoy making that and you could also make this as a pendant. Um, see you soon with another new tutorial. Thank you for watching.